though we know the Lord and we serve him and we worship him and read his word, sometimes we need to be reminded of who he is to us. And so that we can keep our hearts and our minds on who he really is, especially when we are faced with challenges of life. Psalm 3, verse 2 and 3 says, Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God, Selah. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. You, O Lord, are a shield for me. The Lord is our shield. The shield was used for defense in battles. It was part of the armor of defense. Apart from the shield, there were other items of defense in the days of David uh, that warriors would use to protect themselves. They had the helmet, which protected their head from being hurt. They had the breastplate that protected them, and they, they were defended by these. But all of these uh, items of defense were stationary. The helmet only defended the head. The breastplate only defended the chest area. But the shield was an all-round defender. It defended you at the top. It re- defended you in the middle. It defended you at the bottom. It defended your back. It defended you on all sides. And so God presents himself as a shield, not just as a breastplate, uh, but as a shield. He's your all-round defender. He defends us from every side. When the Lord is our shield, there is no place of attack that comes against you that will bypass God's defense. He can defend you in the front. He can defend you in the back. He can defend you when you don't even know who your enemy is. When people are throwing arrows at you in the night, when people are conspiring and you have no idea, he's still your shield and he goes all around you to defend you. The Lord is our shield. And the psalmist says, many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in the Lord or no help for her in God. There are times in our lives when people see the kinds of attacks or the kinds of challenges facing us and they just say, oh, there's no hope for him. Uh, He's finished. She's finished. This is the end. Uh, Nothing good will come out of this. And when people say that about you in those instances, when it looks like you are so exposed and you are about to be destroyed. Then the psalmist says, the Lord is my shield. And because the Lord is my shield, he says he is my glory and the one who lifts up my head. When God is your shield, he becomes also your glory. He shields you with his glory, with his beauty. And then he lifts up your head. You will not see shame. You will not see disgrace. You will not be brought down. You will not become a byword and a proverb. The Lord is your shield. He is your glory and the one who lifts up your head. I don't know what people have said about you. I don't know how they've determined how the outcome of your life is going to be. But the Lord is your shield. He's your all-round defender. And he will not abandon you. It's going to be good for you. And Pastor Mesa Otabel, shalom, peace, and life to you.